everybody I decided to do a quick video um, I haven't done one in a while but I've been waiting on this uh, the boy is very excited when he saw it in the car way to stop by Walmart today uh, venture out in the craziness um, and they had it on sale so it is Star Wars Return of the Jedi it is Jabba's Palace um, like I said the boys been waiting on this I think originally it was like 35 or 40 and there was no way I was gonna pay for that that price and unfortunately, the way Star Wars and Disney are treating everything these days, no one really buys it. So you just wait for a while. If you're patient enough, you'll get it on sale. So anyway, I thought I'd do an unboxing and, and set up and uh, show you guys what you get. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, the, like I said, the boy's pretty excited about this. He really wanted it. And... It was $13, but then I think they took us a little bit more off than that. Um, so, the first piece I'm pulling out here is, I think it's like the back part, and there's some uh, heads of the beasts. <laughs> and I will show that in a little more detail. I don't know if I can get the rest of this out, though, because it looks like it's in here. See if I can get it. I'm pretty sure I have. This is a very professional um, show here. Oh, okay, so it looks like here are some arches. They have some pretty decent detail. You can see there. I'm gonna. And you can see on the inside how it looks stone. But then there is some technology. You know that cool Star Wars way. What else is there? You get some figures. Here is Han Solo. <clears throat> oh, and the carbonite. I didn't realize it came with that. That's actually really cool. I guess I didn't read the box well. And it looks like you also get oh Reyes. Uh, I forgot what their. I forgot what that. Um, does it say what? I forgot what that race is. Um, man, I should know that. I am sorry, but this is the character you get. Um, I, I really like them in the package, but I get this for the boys to play with, so we're going to have to rip that open. But anyway, you see the box. The box is always awesome on these, uh, like, you know, the vintage series. Uh, here are the instructions. And I will put this together. I'll probably put it together, and then, so you don't have to watch me put it together. Just in case I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't want to look like a fool. But here's an up close of what it looks like. Some of the detail. And all right, so I will be right back after I put it together. All right, so I got it all assembled now, but I thought I would show you the characters that came. Um, so I have them here. First is going to be Han Solo. Let's see if I can do it like the professionals do it. Yeah, there he is. That's what he looks like. Looking like the scoundrel that he is. And just as a comparison, I pulled out my vintage one that I got the other day. Um, you're going to focus. No looking at my face. Ah, there we go. I actually like the vintage one. It looks pretty good. But that is the comparison. Let's see if I can put them side by side and get it to focus. Here we go. Okay, so there they are. Uh, Han Solo came with, I think this is him, yeah, some, uh, some sweet handcuffs. So that would be pretty cool. The boys will like that. Um, and also, let me see if I have his... I don't know what I did with it. Okay. All right, so Reyes, I think that's how you say his name. This is what he looks like. With all three of his eyes, some big old hands. You know what they say about big hands. All right. Anyway, he came with some blasters, just your standard blasters. Um, so anyway, there he is, he's pretty cool. Uh, like I said before, and if you ever see me do this, the bla all the blasters and all the accessories, they go into my little Ziploc bag. 
And when the boys want to play with them, they have to check them out. <laughs> so, I have it assembled. And it looks like this assembled. Now, I don't really have the good setup here, so I'm going to do the best I can. So, let's see if I can get it a little close so you can see it. Um, it's actually pretty good detail. It's fun. Um, I think it's worth, I don't think it was like $13, but then they gave me a little bit more off. Definitely worth $13. Definitely worth probably the $10 that I paid. $45 or $50. Mm, I don't know. Um, but like I said, the kids are getting older. If I can pay $13, bucks, $20, bucks and I get two minutes worth of their attention, I'm okay with that. I'm a very much a sucker for my kids. So uh, This Han Solo... Uh, I guess you can raise and lower. I'm not sure what the point of that is, but I think I figured out that it is magnetized or something because it, it, it is, yeah, it's definitely magnetized. So that's actually pretty good. There we go. That's actually a pretty good thinking there, magnetizing it. So that's it. That is Jabba's Palace unboxing. I will put some of the characters that I have. Um, the little pig guards that you can see here. I don't have any of those guys, and I should know their name, but I'm totally drawn a blank. Um, I'm not a very good Star Wars fan, clearly. Uh, I mean, I would like to have a bunch of those guys because I really like them. They're my favorites of the Jabba's guards. Here is my Jabba. His here's his little. I don't, I, it fell off, and I'm not gonna put it on. But here's his little, his little uh, frog pipe or whatever. <laughs> I'll just do it like that. Um, and then here is a guard. This is going to be interesting. So I kind of set it up. One of my favorite characters. What do we have here? Lando Calrissian pretending to be a guard. I don't know if he's going to stand. He might not stand for me. Please stand. Lando does what Lando wants to do. He does not take to demands. Well, so we're just going to lay him down. Actually, I really want him to stand, so maybe I can kind of pull this over. Like I said, I'm not a professional here in any stretch of the imagination. There we go. We're going to pretend like that's good. So we have that. Um, I think that's it. I uh, can't really put Han in the little scene here because he's in carbonite. Um, oh, look. I didn't realize this was up here. This is part of my uh, uh, the little collection that I, I bought off eBay. So we can have Luke... I uh, guess you would need to turn around and he could be talking to Jabba. So there you go. I have, um, you know, it's pretty cool. The boys would definitely like it. Um, they, they think Jabba's hilarious. I have the little barge goes with it, not with it, not the big one that was like crowdfunding. That's crazy. But I have the little one. Um, I did that on another video. With these things, I think you can actually also, I'm going to probably knock everything down, but you can also put them like this and hook this in and it was all gonna fall down so that way you can have it a little more closed in if you want to it doesn't have to be so big which is probably the way i'll have it when i have it down there with the rest of the stuff so they can come grab it or when it's in my son's room and he'll probably have it like that just because it takes a lot of space but yeah that's it like i said it's actually pretty cool i like some of the detail i think i showed this earlier but um in case i didn't you know you get that cool star wars thing where you have this kind of almost like a backwards society but then you always had the little hint of, you know, technology and stuff. So that's it. Uh, yeah, sorry I'm not the world's best unboxer, but I got this today. And I know the boys are very excited. So before I let them tear it up and lose half the pieces, I thought I would show anybody who hasn't picked one up yet. If you've been waiting to pick one up, uh, my Walmart, which is usually the last one to put stuff on sale, they have them for sale for super cheap. So I don't know. Go check out your local Walmart if you want to pick one up. And I know that it didn't come with the Jabba and it only came with the two characters I showed. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. See if I can turn this off now. Bye-bye.